Okay, essential drill number two, um, catch-up drill. Um, this is probably one of the single most important drills that you can do because it really, really teaches extension. It really teaches you to keep the hands both in the frontal quadrant during your strokes so that you have balance and streamline and power all through the entire stroke. So let's take a look at what it should look like. The patty comes off the wall. This hand is fully extended. The head is straight and forward, nice and stable. The arm gets in the water. Look, no splash again. As soon as this hand reaches this hand, that's when she will start her pull. And you can see there it is. She comes around again. Nice delivery. The hand is staying there. And now the pull. Out. Nice extension. Here comes the delivery. And you can see that hand is staying, staying, staying until the other hand reaches it. And now the straight back pull. Really, really well done. And again, this is going to teach you, again, there's a great arm swing from the elbow. The hand comes around the other hand. And look at how long and streamlined. I can't emphasize enough how important this is to your stroke, getting a better technique and being faster in the water. That hand is down. Here comes the other hand. Nice delivery. And now the pull. And again, here it comes. Nice delivery. These hands are right next to each other. And here comes the pull. You know, this is how you do a catch-up drill when you're practicing to be more streamlined and longer in the water. And again, let's go back here because we take a great look at rotation. This is total rotation that you should have, this slight breaking of the water with one shoulder. So many people think you need to be over on your side, and you don't. And this comes from the hip drive through this arm in the stroke. And you can see that again comes the second stroke is around here comes a pull in the hip drive and there is look just the shoulder breaking the water that is the total rotation even on a breath stroke keep that in mind when you're when you're working on your stroke